Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Dong and I am a Tech Assistant Lead here at the DRC. Today I'm going to go over how to request alternate format media through Accommodate. This applies to DRC affiliate students with an alternate media accommodation and will allow you to receive your textbooks and documents in alternate formats like a scanned PDF or a text-to-speech program. So how do we get that media converted? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to log into the UCSC Accommodate portal. To do that, you could just Google UCSC Accommodate, and it should be the very first link that pops up. I'm going to click that, and then you could scroll down and click on Student Login. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to close out of this window, but it's just your gold ID, and once you log in, it should look something like this. You're going to click the drop-down that says Accommodation right here. And then you're going to click at the very bottom on the button that says alternate format. So as you'll see in my official text right here, nothing has been provided to me. So we're going to have to enter in our own documents. So click on student enter and then click on upload document for alternative format request. This is where we're going to enter all the details of our books or readings that we're going to have to upload. So the title can be whatever the title of the book or the reading is. So I'm going to, let's just say, for example, reading one. Under materials, you could choose what type it is. This is pretty important because it changes what boxes you have to fill out. Uh, if it's a book, you're going to have to enter the ISBN, the author, and edition. So you, the, the AMP team knows uh, which exact book you need. For Canvas readings, it could just be, you know, you don't have to enter in the book number. You just have to enter in description or what you need from it. So let's just say a book for now, and we'll enter in, I don't know, some, the, let's say it's our ISBN uh, in, say, 10th edition. I don't know. Um, description is optional. Quarter, you should select your quarter. It would probably only be the current quarter, so we're going to select winter 2023. And finally, course should be whichever course that's for. I only have one course here, but you might have multiple courses that you're taking. So we're going to select the course that's for. We're going to scroll down to this. This is proof of access. So proof of access is required for us to know that you legally have the right to use the book. So this could be a receipt. So say you bought the book on Amazon or you bought it from the Baytree Bookstore. Proof of access could be a screenshot of your receipt from either of those sources. Say you checked it out from the library. Proof of access could simply be a photo of the receipt of your library checkout. Um, probably the most common thing, though, is your teacher just provided it for, to you from Canvas, right? So if the teacher provided that to you for your Canvas, you could just write in this proof of access other box, teacher provided reading to me via canvas right you can enter in the date that the readings are due or multiple due dates that are say chapter one is due on the 23rd and chapter two is due on the 30th right you can enter in multiple due dates there um so let's just say chapter one due 1 30 2023 um you could also mention whether or not this is a required or an optional text this will help the AMP team deliver your chapters in a timely order so we can get it to you on time so it's not too late. You could list in this box what accessible technology you will be using with your requested files. So say I need a text-to-speech program. Let's mention, oh, I need text-to-speech, right? Um, if you don't need that, you could just mention NA and any other things you can mention in this box below. Now, down to this drop-down is the requested alternate format. There are multiple options here. You could read through what they each are here. Kurzweil A and Kurzweil B refer to different kinds of speech-to-text help that you could provide to you. Word document is just if you simply need the text converted to a Word document. MP3 is if you'd like the document to be converted to an audible MP3 that you could listen to. So let's just say I want an MP3 for now. Right. And then finally, when you're done, you can click on the submit button at the bottom of the page. OK, so do know that requests are processed on a first come, first serve basis. It may take a week or two for the AMP team to complete your request. 
Also know that they might not have a digital copy of the book you're trying to request, so we may need to find a physical copy, which would involve tearing the spine of the book so we can um, scan that for you. Uh, once this is all done, however, AMP will send you an email to let you know that your files have been delivered when they're done, and instructions on how to access those files will be in the email. If you have any questions or require any alternate de delivery plans, please email altmedia at altmedia at ucsc.edu. Uh, thank you for watching, and I really hope that was useful.